I would love to share an observation with you. The following came about by pure coincidence. Last year, I became absolutely obsessed with the Elga Volvox. To purify my samples, I used a light trap method. I put pond water in a petri dish and used flashlights to attract the light-sensitive Volvox algae to one side of the container. This procedure made it easier to siphon Volvox off without the other pesky pond creatures. This swarm behavior of Volvox when attracted by light made me curious. I wanted to investigate a little further. How would a Volvox swarm behave traveling over longer distances towards a light source? To perform this experiment, I put 100 ml of concentrated Volvox solution, containing millions of them, on one side of a white tray filled with water 2 cm deep and a white LED light source on the opposite side. As expected, the Volvox swarm was attracted by the light and started to move towards the light source. But then, I noticed something odd. On the way, the Volvox swarm spontaneously organized in packages. The swarm auto-quantized, so to speak. This absolutely blew my mind. I was able to reproduce this behavior over and over again. This all resembled a bit a phenomena from the world of quantum physics. At this point I was hooked. I wanted to see what would happen if I tried an improvised version of the famous double-slit experiment with Volvox. Originally, this quantum physics experiment is performed with light or electrons. The particle beam passes two slits creating an interference pattern on a screen, indicating that light and electrons show wave-like behavior. The double-slit experiment is at the basis of modern quantum physics, demonstrating that light and matter show properties of both waves and particles. But how would a microscopic living creature react? Volvox would definitely not show any wave-like properties, right? No way! I simply added a barrier with two openings to the tray right in the path of the Volvox swarm. Volvox will have to find a way through the slits to reach the light source. And then, my mind was blown. Volvox forms an interference pattern just like particles would do in the classical double-slit experiment. What does that even mean? Does it mean Volvox behaves like a wave? I really don't know. Maybe this all means nothing at all. Maybe this is just all coincidence. The subject matter still has to be investigated further. I have to perform the experiment with different light sources and containers. Please, if you have the opportunity, try to recreate this experiment and please let me know what you found out. I'm so curious about your thoughts. Please let me know about your ideas and opinions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.